how do you fight evil? If the answer to your uh, to the question is you turn into a cool metal looking guy and you punch it in the face, then guess what? You are the star of the Chromium Man. So this book is set in kind of a future world where we got this dude and he is busy wrestling. Let's show the first page. Some kind of great beast thing. Atop a cliff in the Kuldovian hills of Kabari. And said little beast has uh, eaten this dude's like flock of cattle. So he's here to take the beast out so him and his wife can get back to flocking with cattle. Let's see. Here we are. Like he's getting ready to go out and this is we're earlier today. So we're back in time. I haven't seen you eat this like this in a long time. You're excited about this hunt, aren't you? I guess so. It's really got my appetite up. Aren't you? What's the first you use? Burning daylight? Oh come on. One hour is gonna make a difference. I never get tired. Three hours later. I, I wonder what they were doing here. And, uh, you know, what this little comment here, keep the bed warm, I'll save your place. What is that all about? I don't know. What is this? I'm 12. <laughs> uh, he meets some neighbors. They're going to a protest. Because, of course, we have to go to a protest. These are the people they're protesting. Asparagus man and the lump. Okay. Purple asparagus man and the lump. Asparagus man is apparently like the uh, provincial governor or something. And uh, he's called in riot gear who are going to take care of the protests. And uh, the lump is like, no, 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 no. They're going to kill everybody. Oh, so what happens, do you think? What happens? Oh, riot gear drops. And they immediately begin to kill and or arrest everybody. And these aren't like remotely good cops at all. Uh, somewhere in here. Let's see, yeah, take your time, boys. It's not like, it's not often we get a little R&R. &R. Maybe we can entertain the prisoners later keep your mind on the job so they're already like threatening um you know what at the prison I, it's words that you can't say on youtube because you will get in trouble with the youtube cops they'll come over see your little comic book review video and be like mm -mm -mm. you said a naughty word we're gonna have to demonetize that like i got two videos that are in monetization review right now for starfield of all boring and generic things because one of them I used the word steel in the title. And I think, I forget what the other one had, but it was like something very similar, like hijack or whatever. So I was like, I'm putting those videos in review. What are you guys talking about? There is nothing in the content of this video that should be offensive to anybody, much less like the YouTube sponsors. That's just how they roll. Whether those appeals go through or whatever, I don't know. Also, we did I even like talk about like some of the crazy stuff here? Like, okay. Triumphant Comics, every book they published, the whole gimmick was you knew which book in the print run it was. They all had a number stamped on them. So now today, if a comic book sells 50,000 units, it is a top seller. Like, you are, you are doing great. You're top 20 at least. Probably higher than that. 50,000 is like what Batman, uh, like a Batman miniseries sells. It's what spider books that aren't amazing sell. Like, 50,000 units is a lot of comic books in 2023. Back in the 90s, 50,000 units was nothing. This was like the limited edition ash can of this book. This wasn't even the one they sent out to, like, the main publisher stuff. Let me uh, see if they got their order form in the back. They usually have an order form back here with some of this stuff. I got a couple other books from Triumphant Comics. Ah, uh, no. No, we do not have a order form in the back. Sometimes they did that. Instead, we got coupons that you can send in to redeem for special other comic books. Which means now you got to buy two of these. One to keep unspoiled and one to cut the coupons out of. Anyway, after the shenanigans, after the riot is done and the guy comes home and finds his wife has been arrested, he's through with it, man. He comes marching into the city the guards are like, stop, bro. And he's like, no. <laughs> just no. Uh, that kind of reminded me. I just finished playing Starfield. And when I read this, it kind of reminded me of how I felt in my Starfield playthrough. Where, uh, you know what? Let me see if I can find that real quick. Where did I put that image? Because 
Uh, Starfield, like every Bethesda game, you have to make a stupid choice, right? And I'm just like, no. Here we go. Let me let me flip over here so you can see this. Like, pick a side. No, we'll kill you. I don't care. That doesn't make any sense. Too bad. Like that's kind of how I feel when I look at this guy in this sequence. Is he's just like, I don't care. And he just absolutely wrecks these dudes. And he proceeds to go on a wrecking spree. And honestly, it was pretty fun. Uh, the art is stylized. A lot of people have like this weird, like kind of super thinness to them. It's definitely an aesthetic. And the coloring looks like, I don't know, watercolors or colored pencils or something. It looks like a Valiant book in that regard. The art, the drawing is not a Valiant book. But the other parts of it is, yeah. Other parts, like the coloring, does look a lot like a Valiant book. I had fun with this. I don't really know what's going on in the Chromium Man number one Ashcan edition. But I had fun with it anyway. And if you can get this out of your stores like Ben for free, like I did, more power to you. You might just be able to get 49642 and be one up on me. You all take care of yourselves. You have a great one. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Bye-bye.